All right, guys, this video has been a long time coming and I thought for a while, we actually, we've been in this house for a full month and I thought for a while, oh, let me figure out when we're gonna get all the things and like everything in before I do like a full tour of the gym shop slash whatever you wanna call it. Turns out when you order things in these days and age, this day and age, things come months and months later. So you guys would be waiting for months from now to see anything, any progress, if I waited till everything was done. So I thought, well, why don't I just show them and take them on a tour as is, and as we get the other things in, then we'll have a tour of all those things, or we'll just bring you along for the adventure of getting the furniture in and getting the, the equipment in, which is coming tomorrow. So you won't see that video tomorrow. You'll see that video when it's done being edited, but you'll see this video where you're watching it today and we'll see that video later. But I'm excited because that equipment, which is mostly the Rogue um, order is coming tomorrow. You guys will get to see that in the next video. But for now, we are doing the tour of the shop slash office. So let's go check it out. This is, this is my office. As you can see, I have uh, barn doors that open up to my office right now. Like we just said, man, when you order furniture, it takes forever to get here. So right now I have, I have the coolest setup, okay? I have, these are doors that we didn't use yet. And they're actually standing on totes. So those are my, my desks, both my desks and my um, camera area space. So that's, that's kind of cool. Uh, one of the places that I talked about before, I know it's covered up now, but right there in that windowsill was where I had my cool verse that I just love so much. I'll put that on the bottom of the screen so you guys can be reminded of what that is. And I usually do my devotions either in this chair right here, this couch, or in the chair in the corner. And I have my plant. Its name is Olivia. And um, I hang out with that one in the morning when I am doing my morning devotionals. I also have a pair of, ooh, ah. I also have a pair of binoculars there because we have cow visitors in the backyard every, well, probably every other morning. So I get to, you know, see them up close with those. So um, let's step out this way. Just two seconds ago, like right before we started recording, uh, Riley was sitting in here. She was chilling and watching, I think it was Left Behind but that's exactly what I have the space for. It's for my kids or when friends come over, when family comes over, uh, we can just hang out here, watch some television. Uh, we got two swivel chairs and a couch. I'm not sure, I'm, like, again, I got like, this is like semi-temporary furniture and I wasn't sure what I wanted here, but I know I wanted it to be like a certain mood. Haven't quite achieved that yet, but anyways, um, in this space set, you're standing in right now that I was just in. We're also gonna put a pool table there as well, but um, we didn't quite get to that. But again, ordering time takes forever. That'll eventually be here. Let's go into the creative room. All right, so this is the creative space. Uh, right now we have some instruments in here. It's, it's a dual use, maybe triple use. So one of the uses is a music room space where we have a couch on this side and we have <laughs> some paint as well right here but the front side will be a music space you can see we have guitar uh, ukulele and, and a piano over here or keyboard for now and then over here look you can see somebody already used the space for painting we don't actually have any easel set up yet we don't really have a storage space yet we don't have a, a table that I'm envisioning here for people to paint at and my kids to paint at but those will eventually get here, but this is the painting area. And we have the rubber flooring. We put rubber flooring in here as well so that they can just paint. It doesn't matter where the, wood, where the paint goes or wherever the uh, materials go because uh, they have the freedom to have fun and just be creative and make a mess. But this side again, um, it's kind of a chill spot. There's no TVs in here. There's no uh, speakers yet, but I'll probably put a speaker in here so that when someone's painting, they can listen to something and, you know, get, get inspired by some music. We're gonna go across the hall now. And this was going to be a podcast room, but potentially a bedroom. Well, we turned it into a bedroom.
uh, our good friend Laura and Julie's assistant. This is her room. This is where she has been staying so far this month that we've been here. But her room is actually the most uh, well furnished of all of the rooms inside the shop so far. But we're, we're gonna fix that because I'm, I'm getting my things too. So that's enough for her room. Let's, let's get out of here. All right, that about covers the whole upstairs area. Now we're gonna head on downstairs. This, this room, okay, this room you guys are about to see, is kind of special to me because this is the only room that I like took a lot of time to like design like and, and think about what I wanted in it. I first thought, and this is gonna be weird to you guys, I thought like commercial, like Starbucks bathroom, like, you know, moody or whatever. But, um, well, let me just show you. Some of the design elements that I, I picked out, and it's because it's in a gym that Specifically, I picked these faucets. The faucets have uh, knurling on them. And if you are familiar with lifting weights and the barbells, barbells also have knurling on them. Not just that one, but they're also in the shower. On the shower handles, those also have knurling. Um, I also wanted like a, a, a shower head, or a rain, obviously a shower head, but I wanted a rain shower head, but I also wanted options. So this one actually moves in and out and you can move it far enough out so that it comes straight down or you can make it so that it hits you from an angle. But a couple other things that are really cool in here is uh, just the glass. I love the look of glass in a bathroom in general, but not just high glass. The tile, I wanted to make sure it went all the way to the ceiling because uh, there's just something more, I'm not sure what the word is. I don't know, I don't think elegant is the word. Dramatic, yeah, it brings drama by going all the way to the ceiling rather than cutting it off like, you know, right before the, below the window or anything like that. So I love that. Um, also on the side, wainscot, wainscot, wainscoting. Um, I wanted three feet of that or 36 inches and each tile is about one foot high, two feet long. And the other thing is I had it one third offset so that it kind of like led you down into the bathroom and then the actual walls of the shower are just um, straight stacked vertically, so it just gave a little bit more length and height to that. Now this though, this is, we went to multiple stone yards? I'm not sure what it's called specifically, but multiple places that had granite and different types of countertops. And this is the one I picked. I, I saw a bunch of other ones, but this is the one that I picked right off the get-go. And for two reasons, the first reason is, is that it looks just so cool, the movement that it has and the color. I Obviously I like grays, blacks and whites, and so gray is what it is, but um, it's also called adamantium. And if any of you guys know why that is cool and special, I don't know where you guys are watching this on, YouTube, Instagram, Facebook, comment down below why adamantium specific is so, such a cool name for this stone. Uh, the last two things, design elements I had in here was this is a floating vanity, so there's no legs on it, so you can fit things underneath there. I don't know whether you guys have your feet ever hit the edge of uh, your vanity in the bathroom, but I didn't want that to happen, so the bottom is open, and also like we conveniently put a scale down there so you can um, tuck that away. And then the last thing, maybe two more things, this mirror, I ordered one and it was installed, but because it was so long, it had to, to be above this light switch and it looked horrible. If you were under five foot or right at five foot, you couldn't see yourself, so it was, it was trash. So I had to buy a new one. This is the one I got. It has a couple of cool features that the other one did not. This one has like a two foot three, I don't know whether it's three times or 10 times magnification, but you can see yourself up close with this light. Um, it has a, it's not a dehumidifier, it's a, yeah, it's a defogger. It's something that keeps your mirror from getting fogged up. Um, you just press that button for that. And if you don't want this light on, you can turn it off. It also tells the time. I don't know why you need to know, like maybe you see how long your showers took or something like that, but that's what that's for. And then we have the cool, full body length mirror on this side of the bathroom that, you know, when you're done working out, you can, Look at, you can kind of see like good angle of light and you can, you know, 
where you take your selfies, of course, post them on Instagram or whatever. Um, let's go. You guys didn't come for the bathroom. Let's be honest. You guys came for the next two parts of the gym. So let's go see those parts. This is a part of this whole tour that I think you guys have been more interested in. People ask about this one. I don't know why, but this is the one people ask about. This is the snack drawer. And this is what it has become. You just pull it out like that and you have access to all the snacks before workout, during workout, after workout, whatever it is. Now, they're not all healthy yet, but like we just got a bunch of snacks when we were hungry. We went to the store, but don't shop when you're hungry. Shop after you've already ate. So we're, we're gonna eat all the bad stuff and then we're gonna replace it with good stuff. Don't worry, we'll actually have some sort of diet plan. This is kind of like a carryover from the bathroom. This is my kitchenette area. I also have the adamantium here, but something that um, is a, a very cool feature is here it has a waterfall edge, so it comes down the side. And the reason why I have that there is because there is a water station or bottle filler right here. So you can fill your bottle water, bottle water here, work out, you don't have to go anywhere to, to find water, it's right here. And if there's any splashes and it hits the side of the cabinet here, which would have been wooden, um, it's protected by that, but also it just, it just looks pretty, right? I have this cool little coffee sign here. I can't figure out where to put it. I tried sticking it in here and it just doesn't fit the space right. So I might have to get like a couple of things to fill the space because it doesn't look right by itself. So it's just sitting right there. And then I have, these are floating shelves. I didn't know what I was gonna use them for, but right now um, I have my supplements on them and uh, coffee cups. So if anybody else besides myself is here in the morning, they can get coffee, which is right here. Or they can use them for, as water cups. And of course, you know, I have to have a drawer that holds all the Black Rifle coffee. Here it is, here it is, see it? Okay, there it is. Beverage fridge, you guys know about that. If you have seen that already on Instagram, um, I posted that. And I have a little cubby here that I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. If you could think of something cool, to do with that space. It's like a, it's about half size door. What is it? That's probably like four feet ish. But if you guys have something cool to think that you, I could use that for storage or whatever, you know, let me know. But right now we just put the gym towels there inside there. Unless the gym towel, dirty clothes, and we put the gym towels in there. Um, let's just swing around the, gar the garage. Uh, it used to be a garage gym. See, I don't do a garage gym now. I have a, uh, a warehouse home gym something, okay. Um, I bought Sono speakers. They are the best speakers that I've ever used in any kind of space for a couple of reasons. You can buy as many as you want. Uh, you can buy as many as you want of anything. Is it, is it, hold on. Oh, hold on. I'm getting a call from Columbus, Ohio, which is, this is, this is not rehearsed. This is the Columbus, Ohio. Um, you guys will see. Hello? Hello? Hello. Yeah, how you doing? I'm doing good. Okay, well, uh, what time you guys close? Um, we, we don't close. This is my house. You can come in any time. Oh, I can come anytime? Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, I'm gonna, I don't know, the dad has, uh, the dad has uh, uh, traffic, so uh, as soon as I arrive, I call you, all right? Okay, so how, how close, what, what city are you in right now? Uh, right now, close to Dallas. Oh, okay. Yeah. So that's like two hours away from here. Yeah, it's uh, two hours, three hours, uh, exactly two hours and 30 minutes. Okay. All right. So you're going to be here tonight? Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay, sounds great. I'll be, I'll be there. Thank you. I'll call you. Okay, thank you. All right, bye-bye. Bye. Listen, you couldn't get a more appropriate phone call than that. We're doing a gym tour and that's the uh, shipment. I said Columbus Ohio for a reason. That's the rogue shipment that's coming. So the, the, the video is coming right after this. So three hours, we're going to be, oh, okay. Anyways, let's finish the tour because now I'm see I'm just excited for all the stuff. Um, what was I talking about? Oh, okay. So stupid speakers don't even matter anymore. Um, we got Sony speakers. I got two pairs in here. There's a pair in the mezzanine and I got a pair coming for the 
the space over there. You don't know what it is yet. You'll be alone in just a second. But you can connect them all. You can choose which sections to play from. And I'll, maybe I'll just do a whole different like explanation of that later because that's long. Um, let's just keep. Anyways, I recommend them. Best sounding, easy to use. It has an app. Okay, cool. Um, I have a mini split system. There's two of them. There's one right here. There's one on that side of the gym. They cool this place off like nobody's business. Actually, it's really hot right now. I'm going to um, show you guys something real quick. They're remote controlled and they have like the light on them and you can just change the temperature just like that. And they work really well and, and really quick. For this space, those two cool this place off so fast. Uh, right now, I have all the gym equipment not all the gym equipment, it's basically just the Rogue stuff from my previous home gym. All here, I have all of the uh, steel plates, I have my adjustable bench, I have the Monster Utility bench, I have the Echo Bike, GHD, I have a rower as well. And this is uh, the Monster Light, I got this in seven years ago, so 2015, uh, I got this. And I don't know why it's called the Monster Light Limited Edition, but this is when Rogue, like, I think, I don't know whether they were just coming out with racks or I just was able to afford a rack at that time from Rogue, but it's been my favorite thing. I recommend it, highly recommend it. I actually got the first shipment in uh, like three weeks ago and it was Texas Power Bars. I bought a squat bar, a bench bar, and a deadlift bar. They are all three different colors. The squat bar is like a tungsten, the deadlift bar is white, it's over here, and the bench bar is black. We don't actually use them here. They're just all stored here because we're expecting a shipment in. So, oh man, I'm already tired. <laughs> and we're gonna get this tonight. That's gonna be crazy. Oh, is it, this is the part that you guys came for. Let's, let's, oh, you know what? Before we show you this last room, um, let me explain to you guys kind of where everything's gonna go in this room. This side over here, I didn't want to put too much like big equipment on this side because I didn't want the sink area to be cramped or the storage area to be cramped. So this is gonna be two, a mirror on that side, a mirror on that side, and two dumbbell racks. Dumbbell. I don't know why I was th thought I said barbell, but two dumbbell racks there is gonna be from five to 150, 150 pounds on those two walls. And there'll be a functional trainer here. Uh, right here, there's going to be, that's all Rogue right there. Then I have a Prime Fitness leg extension a leg curl that should be going like here or on that side. But in between that right here is a Rhino bell squat. I have a full monster rack coming that's gonna sit right here. I have a combo rack that's gonna sit right there. And then I have the deadlift platform that's gonna sit uh, right in the opening. And the reason why I'm putting the deadlift platform there is so that there's still space, like you can walk into the space from that space and there's no equipment like full on blocking that doorway. And I also have a, um, I, I think I said I had a functional trainer going right here, but I have a prime, this is a prime functional trainer and the prime, um, oh, what is it called? It's a prodigy rack, it's going right here. So it's the one with stacks and not loadable weight. Um, but you guys all see that and as we get the equipment, you guys can be a part of that. Um, but let's go to this room and I'll show you guys um, something that I've dreamed of. Like this, I dreamed of this, but this is something else that I've also dreamed of. Okay, the gym is definitely a dream, but this was a dream that I didn't even know was even possible. I always wanted a basketball court at my house, but this, like having it in my house is completely different. You guys, this right here was a full on dream that I didn't know was possible. Uh, actually, I'll put, up, I'll put up a post that I made in 2017 that said that I wanted this. I had no funds to do it, nowhere in sight of knowing how to do it, but today it, it, is, it is a thing. So I will see you guys a little bit later. Thank you for joining us on this tour. And I can't wait for you guys to see uh, this more fleshed out with all the equipment in the next video. So that's what we'll do. So thanks for hanging out uh, and we'll see you in the next video.